we doing it, everybody? I'm back with just a banger. I'm gonna call it a banger. I've been doing this shoe now too long. A banger of a, of a show today. It's gonna be a team talk, and we're talking about the history and evolution of the trolling motor. Believe this shit, you're gonna see some shit here that you are not gonna understand. There's gonna be pictures down here, Jordan, right? Yeah. Right? And then there's gonna be a bunch of some information here. The good thing about this video is, if, you, if I get through this video and I don't say one, comment on it. Comment on what it is. Tell us about it. If you had one, if your dad had one, your grandpa had one, and now it's passed down to generations and it's sitting in your shed, drop a picture on it. We want to see it because this is a pretty cool video. Um, it's kind of off the wall from what we normally do. It's just kind of history type of thing and we're just kind of interested in getting some more input on the trolling motor and the evolution of it. But stop right here. Stop, Jordan. You guys destroyed, you destroyed this shirt on the internet you destroyed it you got it to the point of where they the company that does it wants to like have its own like little fucking deal so we can just be like we're just gonna put these over here because we're gonna mass produce them because they left so quickly you guys literally knocked it out of the park i can't thank you enough for it it was bad it's still available it is still available we may leave it available when we drop the next one because the next one's gonna be even better it's, or not even better because this is like one of my favorite shirts this is this is the second logo to this company um it was probably about 96 when that came out somewhere in that ballpark i'm guessing maybe a little bit earlier uh, but this is a bad logo this is an original this, this isn't the one that you get this is like an original super thin one but you guys knocked it out of the park i can't thank you enough for that and the merch get over there check it out all right here we go let's do some history should we let's start with min code because everybody likes min code right this is bad this is I, I like this stuff uh the first gear driven stern mounted electric trolling motor was invented by Wait for this shit now. O.G. Schmidt. No bullshit. O. Period. G. Period. Schmidt. That motherfucker was O.G. from the beginning. Badass. All right. And he did it in 1934. In Fargo, North Dakota. When he took a uh, when he took the start motor, a starter motor from a Ford Model A. So he went to his Model A. Fucking probably wasn't running. Grabbed the starter motor out and said, "I'm gonna make a trolling motor out of this." Good God. Added a flexible shaft and a propeller. So he bolted it on, added a shaft, put a prop on it, and said, let's go trolling. And he created the first OG, the first OG trolling motor. Um, and basically, his manufacturing company was near Minnesota, North Dakota border. So he decided to call the company Minn Kota. Minnesota, North Dakota, border, Minn Kota. Unbelievable. Let's just stick with Minn Kota and go up the line here now. Let's just stay in Minn Kota version. So, Everybody knows how the Minn Kota, and then you kind of had the handheld, the big white ones, the all terrains. There was a lot in between there, and that thing has has revolutionized into basically what almost everybody's using today. I mean, where it is today, if OG were to see where it is today, he would have multiple wet spots in his pants, one in the front, one in the back, because he'd be his pants and doing what he does in the front. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is they have taken an idea from a Model A Ford starter. And I think that when you drop your troll motor in the water tomorrow, today, that fing thing started as a Model A starter out of a Ford. And look where it is today. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, you, you know the outboards have revolutionized, but you had a Model A fing starter from a Ford pickup truck underwater being a trolling motor. I mean, OG and Ole <laughs> had the shit figured out. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's. They came out with the Edge, Edge was great. They had some all-terrain before that, but I'm talking like Edge, and then they decided to go four tracks or Maxim, they go Maxim. We thought Maxim was the best thing in the world. Then it went four tracks, we thought that was the greatest thing in the world. Now it went all tracks, now we got the new all tracks, and it, it's crazy, it is absolutely crazy if you think about that. Like when you grab your all tracks and chuck it in the water tomorrow, that was a Model A Ford starter at one time. Fucking insane. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go to Motor Guide, should we? Let's drop a Motor Guide plug. Uh, G.H. Harris, no fucking, doesn't even come close to OG. G.H. Harris of Mississippi first fashioned the foot control trolling motor and called it the Guide Right. So we're guiding you right, Guide Right. Harris partnered with, what the fuck is this, Jordan? Hersh, Hershey, 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 what? Hershey, Hershey? Fuck it, fuck it, it's a clock company. He, he partnered with a clock company uh, in the early 60s to make a make and distribute it so basically in the early 60s he partnered with a clock company to make and distribute a clock motor underwater what wow that's getting it done that's in the late 60s um the name was then changed to motor guide 
So we went from guide right to motor guide. We don't know how it got to be motor guide, do we? It just got changed, bought up, because it ended up, I don't know how long it was in his hands, we don't know that, um, but the fact of the matter is, is I think it just went from him to got motor guide, and motor guide basically revolutioning it, taking it and revolutionizing it to what we call today a foot control trolling motor, because they took it, and we have a picture of that one too, are we dropping pictures of all these, this is gonna be bad. Wait till you see these things, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Um, and that, and that's basically, they, they just revolutionized it into what we have today, you know what I mean? But Motor Guide used to be like one of my favorites, because it was always, it was like the tour, I could put the tour, when I bend the shaft, I could just flip it and then just stand on it a couple times, it was straightened right out, it was awesome. Um, but the Motor Guide, I don't know that Motor Guide, I know that they tried to keep up, but I just don't feel that they're keeping up anymore. Brunswick took them, when? Did we know when Brunswick got them? 80s. 80s, so Brunswick got them in the 80s, Brunswick has since sold that, correct? I don't think it's manufactured by Brunswick anymore, but maybe it is. Comment below. I, comment below, yeah, help us out on that. Help us out on that info. If you know that, comment below, that'd be great. Um, I don't feel that they're taking it to the next level like the rest of the companies are, like your Minn Kotas, you know, your Power Poles, even your Lowrance and Chad's favorite Garmin. Um, but it, um, I think that the, those companies are revolutionized. I think they're just kind of staying. I just don't like the look of the new one. Let's just, can we move on from Motor Guide? Let's move on. Um, let's talk about some other trolling motors. And we didn't really get into the Lowrance, or we didn't get into the Garmin, or we didn't get into the Power Poles move, just because they're essentially new to the deal. There's not much history on them. Um, I know Chad's done a Garmin here lately, and he's not a fan of the Garmin, um, just because you got a fucking, it's like building a house. And he's got a lot of parts and pieces and putting it together. It's just not what he, but their customer service is great. The Lowrance, we just don't see enough of. Um, the Move is a great trolling motor. Um, I got a message from them again yesterday to come down and do a video on the Move. And we're gonna do a video on the Move, which is timing, so. Um, it, so let's just go into other trolling motors, some stuff you might not have heard about. Um, Silver Troll? Did you make any of these up? Nope. You found all these? Yep. Are you gonna have pictures of all these? Yep. Holy shit. Silver Troll, made in the 40s and 50s in New York using a rebuilt Chevrolet starter. Why not? Fuck it, they put the Ford, let's put the Chevy underwater. Um, they also made a DIY kit so you could do it, your, you build it yourself in your fucking garage. So you get a Chevy starter in the mail, you get a shaft, some electricity, and fucking screw the bitch together and fucking put it on your boat. That sounds like the deal. I like this shit. That was in the 40s and 50s to compete with OG, because OG was already in the 30s. He already had five years on the um, Lazy Troll. Motor was made by Bird Industries in Memphis, Tennessee. I can only imagine what a Lazy Troll looks like. I mean, um, Shakespeare. Shakespeare Sigma 23. Was that, 23 pounds of massive thrust? Fucking good unit. Um, my favorite of all time, and you're gonna fucking be shocked, the Johnson Avenue trolling motor. Unbelievably a great trolling motor. Um, showed it to Chad the other day, there was one in here, he kind of chuckled at it, but then he started looking at it. All aluminum construction, um, even the pedal, the switching, it was, you had, you had a tension cable that was stainless, you had fucking steering cables that were stainless, uh, it had the, where the tube came in the front so the weeds gathered above it so they didn't fucking pile up in the front. Great trolling motor for what we did up here. Quiet, lightweight, fucking awesome trolling motor. Uh, Fluger made one in Columbia, South Carolina. Is that Fluger the same company that makes the reels and shit now? Probably spelled the same. So they were building, they were using fucking probably Mopar starters or some shit. Uh, troll, Trollmaster. Trollmaster is still around, I think, and they're doing other things, though. They're not doing trolling motors anymore. They're doing some other stuff, I think. They're made in Oklahoma. Uh, they made the twin unit you wrote here. Yeah, Trollmaster, wait, that fucker is awesome. That, that, there's a reason why they're not making that anymore. Imagine that thing going through the re weeds. Mercury Mariner trolling motor. Yeah, the Mariner trolling motor, um, I didn't like it. It's junk. I didn't really like how, but I mean, they're, they're around. They're st I mean, people are still using some of this shit, so. Um, that's about it. That's what we got. There's, I know there's a ton more. I know there's a ton, ton more. So what, make sure you're commenting on what's what's below here. Make sure we get some pictures of what you had, what your dad had. I want to see what your grandpa had or what your grandpa's dad had. That, that should be cool. I if somebody has an OG trolling motor, I want to see it. 
I might buy it. Because I want an OG troll motor. So when someone says, what the hell is that? I'm going to say, that's OG. That's fucking OG. I want an OG troll motor. Um, I just think that whole story is really cool. Because you, you just never know where this stuff, shit, this stuff starts from. You know what I mean? Somebody had an idea about a... How do I... Why would you use a... I mean, starter's a good deal, I guess, right? But that is quiet. Probably lightweight, too, right? Brushless. Brushless. I mean, we're bitching about fucking being quiet. These guys caught fish with a fucking Ford Model A starter under the water. And we're trying to be quiet. What the fuck? Um, do you want me to talk about Stan Sloan down here? I mean, you got this. Yeah, Alright, let's talk about Stan. Stan, who fished the first ever five, or the first five Bassmaster Classics, showed up at Ray Scott's in 1968, the All-American Tournament, with his motor guide trolling motor. Mounted to the bow. Back then, trolling motors were designed to be clamped to the transom. Sloan won the tournament. That whole deal right there revolutionized what we are doing today with foot controlled trolling motors. I don't care if you're a walleye guy, you're an offshore guy, you're a fucking bass guy, you're a perch guy, you're doing whatever you want to do. That guy, Stan Sloan, took the motor guide and had the first ever bow mount. Was it foot controlled too? I bet you it was not foot controlled. It was probably just bow mount, but it might have been foot controlled and revolutionized what we do today. That single story right there is why you are standing on a foot pedal. That guy right there at a Bassmasters. Amazing, amazing deal on how we've taken a Model A Ford starter and turned it into what it is today. Spot lock, fucking GPS capabilities, smooth, quiet. It, all of the above, from where we were to where we are now, is amazing to me to, to understand that. And, and where's the where's the end of it? How do we know when it's going to end? I don't know. I mean, these, these companies are constantly revolutionizing and changing and becoming better. And that's what's really cool. Um, they're always trying to be better than the next. And, that, yeah, and I always say that this is a copycat market, which it is. Once somebody has something new, they grab it and they take it. But they always seem to try to up it. So if this piece of paper is the new revolution of the industry, someone's going to steal it from this company. They're going to take it apart. They're going to look at it, look at it, do what they got to do and figure out how we can make it 1% better. And then the next, and, and it's okay because that's okay because that's good for the consumer just as long as the price doesn't go f through the roof. But it's good for the consumer because if that company's not trying to make it better, somebody else already stole it and tried to make it better. So you're in good hands in these, all these companies. You may hate companies, you may not like companies, but the good thing is if they put out junk, someone's going to take it and make it better just because that's what they do and that's okay. That's, that's good. That's why we have battles and that's why we have things like Ranger versus Vexus, Vexus versus Vadida, Vadida, or all that stuff. Mercury versus Yamaha, Yamaha versus Suzuki. That's why that's good. That's why we need this and that's why we need to talk about this stuff because whether you guys understand it or not, your 27 plus thousand followers and your 1 million views and your hundreds of thousands of comments and all that stuff gets back to these big companies. It gets back and it trickles back to these big companies. We know it, we get emails and they literally watch this stuff. You guys have formatted and made this channel like the backbone almost of kind of what the industry is doing and that's that's why you guys make this happen so that's why commenting is so important it's so important to comment about your stuff if you've had a bad experience now's the time to comment about it and it's not that you're going to go bash the company i get it um but the fact of the matter is is you're just making it known to the next guy that's going to go buy that product that i had a bad experience with this and i didn't get treated well or i got treated great had a bad experience with the product the company treated me great, I'm still on board. That's great shit. That's stuff that people want to hear, all right? That's what makes you guys stronger. I can sit here all day long, it's just me, right? But you guys are the people that drive this channel and we appreciate everything. So at that, we're gonna be done with this history report because I didn't do good in history. I mean, I like Civil War and shit. I could walk, talk about Civil War all day long, but when it comes to history, yeah, it's good. So that's where we're at. Uh, history of Trolling Motors, the book's gonna be closed because that's what all books are designed to do. They're designed to get closed from time to time. This one's closed. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the pictures. Comment on anything you've had. If somebody's got an OG troll motor, make sure I get a hookup. I need an OG troll motor. I need a hookup, all right? I want I want one, so when I go over to Minkota, I'm gonna take it over there and ask them to service it for me. Can you service this for me? We need some help. And they'll probably look at it and go, what is that? I go, that's OG. So I need one, I need one. So I gotta, I gotta go over there in September to recertify myself with Chad to get ourselves certified in our <laughs> fixing abilities, so. If I get an OG coming, OG's going with. So it's gonna be a great day. Um, 
At the end of the day, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support on the merch. I love every minute. Go over and check it out. Make sure we're going to leave this one running. We may leave it running into the next one, too. I don't know. We're just going to try to run an OG series here because that's what we are. We're OG. All right, that's what we're going to do. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for all the, everything you guys do. I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. The negative publicity turns into positive for me, so I don't even have a give a shit about that stuff anymore. It's gotten to a point where somebody says bad about me, I don't even care because I've got a lot of people behind me that are supporting me and I just love every inch of it. And if I could come to everyone in your house and shake your hand, I would. At the end of the day, appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Witness the madness that OG, I know, is in the ground. He's, he's gotta be in the ground somewhere. Definitely in the ground. Screaming, speed, money, no brakes. OG, you kick ass, I'm out. See ya!